you know these ideas that you come across and you say this is so simple yet so genius how come i didn't think about it on my own so this is one of them i'm going to share with you a short yes very powerful tool that i came across it's very relevant for all of you who are using AI coding assistants or using large code bases also for non-technical people it's a great tool this video is going to be a very short introduction to this tool uh, obviously there are not too many nuances because it's a very straightforward tool uh, let's dive right into this just before we get started if you're new to the channel and are interested in ai agents and ai related automations make sure to subscribe now let's get started um, before i show you the tool let me share with you why it's necessary based on my opinion at least so very often we are creating a code base whether you know how to code or whether you're using an AI coding assistant, eventually uh, the code base becomes bigger and bigger and there is a lot of context. And then one of the biggest challenges is keeping all the context uh, relevant and also feeding the relevant context to the AI coding assistant. Many AI coding assistant are able to um, embed all the context using uh, something like a mechanism under the hood. But on the other hand, many times we just want to take a code base and make it LLM ready in one click. And this is why this tool is so amazing. It's, this, tool is, this tool is called Git Ingest. This is the, the tool. You have also the GitHub repository. It's quite new. This is one of those short videos in which I just share a, a new tool that I stumbled upon and I believe it will become very popular. So basically what they do, they turn code bases into prompt friendly text. Um, one click analysis, simply paste a GitHub repository URL and get instant pasteable context. It does smart formatting. So it optimized the output format for LLMs and it has a very simple, uh, very simple web interface. I will show you in a moment. You can install it uh, locally, but to be honest, I've used it from their server is gitingest.com. You come to this website um, and what you do, you just take some any re repository that you would like and you hit the ingest button. So let's say I'm taking Klein. Klein is an AI coding assistant, very powerful coding assistant. For those of you who don't know, I've made many videos about, the, about it in the channel. So it has a pretty large core base. And let's say we want to take the whole code base and make it LLM ready. I just copy this link, come to git ingest and hit the ingest, bu ingest button. It's going to process it. And there, there you go. You have like a breakdown of all the data that is within the code base. So first of all, you have the summary, the repository name, the files analyzed, the estimated tokens. Then you have the directory structure which is very important for the LLM when you want the AI coding assistant to make adjustments. And then you have all the files content. Basically in Markdown, very easy for the LLM to figure out what's going on. So this was just an example. Obviously you can download it or you can copy everything. We will download it over here and you have everything in as a text file, as you can see, directory structure and all the data from all the files. And what you can do next, you can feed this as context. So let me share with you an example. I came here to Google AI Studio and I just pasted the whole file. As you can see, it's pretty long. It was 88,000 88, uh, tokens. And then I asked Google AI Studio, specifically this LLM with Gemini 2.0, what is the system prompt? What is the gist of this repository? And since everything was already in, in formatted for the LLM, it was able to give me a great breakdown of what's going on over here. So let me share with you like the core functionality and propose. So it's an IDE integration. It has agentic capabilities. It has a human in the loop element. It supports uh, MCP, Model Context Protocols, which is something that I published a video a few days ago. It's something new in Klein. 
the, the key features of the client extension, task management, file handling, term, terminal interaction, browser control, MCP tooling, API, provider flexibility, contextual awareness, user feedback loops, custom instructions, cost tracking, local LLM support, etc. Then it gave me a breakdown of key files and functionalities. Then it shared the intended user experience. And this is basically, it's data the LLM is fetching from the single file that I shared, which basically contains all the content of all the repository. So we have some additional, no, uh, additional notes, and then we can just ask more questions. If I want to use this repository, this extension with Olama, what should I do? By the way, I'm using the native uh, Windows speech to text feature for this. You, you just hit the Windows plus H button and you have this native ability to record whatever you would like. Now it's looking in the whole code base, which is a text file. And it explains exactly the Olama integration. So Olama allows you to run local uh, models locally then what you need to change in terms of the base URL, etc. Steps to install and everything is fetched from the GitHub repository of client. Let me show you just a, another example. Let's say we want to we wanna ingest uh, Olama. So this is the repository. Let's open the repo. This is the whole repository. And we want to ingest it. We just click this button and it's going to ingest the file. So seven, the whole repo, 748 files. This is the structure and this is the contents of all files. You can download everything and then you have ready-made context for your AI coding assistance within one click. This is very valuable. So simple yet so powerful. After I saw this solution, I, I noticed a few more similar solutions. Uh, one solution that is probably noteworthy is Repomix that has already more than 5,000 uh, 5, stars. Uh, kind of similar. You can repack your repository. Um, it has a few more uh, features. But I guess for like simple stuff, I think you can go with Git ingest. You don't even need to install it locally. You can just use the website. Otherwise, if you need more advanced stuff, I would definitely check the capabilities of Git ingest or Repomix, which I believe is uh, are like kind of like competitors. Uh, let me think. Yeah, I think we covered everything. That's it for today, guys. Just uh, a short video about this powerful tool, which is called Git ingest. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention, you can basically copy the GitHub repo and change the hub to ingest and it will do the ingest automatically. At least this is what they claim. Let me verify this. Yes, so git ingest, it opened automatically and it ingests automatically. So this is also very cool. You let's say you have a, a URL of the GitHub repository. You just change the hub to ingest and you have the repository ready for your LLM analysis using with AI coding system, etc. Again, that's it for today. If you have any criticism or ideas or feedback, leave them in the comment section below. Obviously, like, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Um, until next time, keep on automating.